Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Duba's Star Wars Unboxing Show, Shelf Talk. I'm here to kind of talk through a few more vintage figures that we had that I've acquired over the years. I will fix this glare thing in a minute. But um, as we've said, uh, before we get to this, I do want to make a comment. Um, we had a commenter, the Blacked Out Ewoks, I believe, um, was asking me about my Tusken Raider figure last, last episode and said that it might be the hollowed out cheeks version which is actually uh, more expensive. Um, turns out that it's not. I just wanted to make sure to give you guys a comment on the air. Um, it is not a hollowed out cheek version. I think it's the standard version. But thank you for that tip. And if you see anything else like that, please feel free. And anybody else who wants to point anything else like that, please uh, let me know. Okay. So we got four more here. And again, for those just joining us, be aware that my, um, my main thing is collecting on a budget. Um, and I feel that there is a uh, a fine line, but a line, a line nonetheless you can walk where you can collect um, carded vintage Star Wars action figures and still have kind of, you know, be able to not break the bank. So we'll start off with our little, with another Ewok here. Okay. This is, sorry for the, we're trying to avoid glaring here. Okay. This is a Chief Chirpa. Okay. And let's, it's probably easier before I do that, so I kind of get out of these, uh, plastic cases. These plastic cases though, if you do it the way I do it, it's a must. You can usually find them um, in a um, in bulk, okay? So here we have it, okay? We have the action figure, the card, it's got the mail away for the Emperor. Yes, kids, we used to have to mail away for special figures. We would send in that little circle piece, cut it out, send in, or sometimes it would be this little UPC thing. And we would send in three, four, or five of them, and a few weeks later, they would um, send us a action figure. So you can see the the yellowing on the pack. Okay, standard stuff. This is actually a decent size, just decent figure. Otherwise, it's it is punched. You can see that standing there, right there at the top there. It's punched, but it's also um, and it's also got a price tag on it. And again, I know there are ways to take that off, but I I kind of like it. I have to be honest. I've said it before, three eighty eight. That's where that was probably like you know the going rate for figures retail when the movie came out. It's amazing when you think about how much they are now. So pretty cool stuff there, you know. All right, next up, let's get out the man, the myth, or I should say the lobster, the myth, the legend, Admiral Akbar. Uh, it's my favorite character, my favorite ancillary character, as I've said from Return of the Jedi. Now I will tell you, this is a seriously damaged card. Okay. You can see, you know, the packaging bubble is completely dented in. His little scepter, his little black scepter there that he holds is now like just loose inside. It's kind of on the, it's, it, I think it was it used to be on the side. I don't think it was ever, or either that or it was in his hand. And then you can see too that there's some definite tear on the uh, Return of the Jedi logo. But ironically, it is, pun it's unpunched. So there's that. <laughs> so anyway. Um, you know, again, and, and uh, one of my favorite things about this one, and I want to point this out, if you look on the back, they actually blacked out two of the figures. I um, believe this was, it says 9 and 10. Yeah, they blacked out the Ewoks. Because I believe these came out shortly before the movie came out, the first, the first wave. And they did not want to give away the Ewoks, which I thought was pretty interesting. Of course, I believe if you read the Star Wars Return of the Jedi storybook, there was a picture of one of them in there. But nonetheless, from the action figure perspective, they wanted to keep it spoiler free. Love Admiral Ackbar, love the character. My, my Halloween costume after the movie came out was Admiral Ackbar, although I never really liked wearing latex masks after that because it was a little claustrophobic. Uh, I got the Don Post mask, but Again, not a bad, you know, a, a decent card. Well, no, I can't say decent. A fair card. A fair card. Um, and I will tell you that a lot of people, this is, it, it's almost harder to find them like this. I think a lot of people, when you get them this way, they just say, well, I bother and they open it up. But be, let it be known, you can, in fact, find them. And again, as I said in previous episodes, the, um, the you know, busted up card, bent up card, bent up plastic, those cards tend to go for anywhere from as high as $70, $80 to as low as $20, which is definitely more reasonable. Let's move on to another Return of the Jedi. And again, Return of the Jedi, 
far cheaper to find carded figures with Return of the Jedi logo because they mass produced them at a far greater scale than they did the previous two. Um, but nonetheless, um, you can find them. And now, of course, speaking of speaking of Low Gray, there he is, the Ewok, the myth, the legend. Okay. Um, I love the, again, another nice thing. I think, see, I'm looking at this and the, I can't tell what that price is. I can't tell if I, if it was, um, a, I don't think it was 1180. I think it was either one. It says, I don't, I don't get it at all. It was a crossed out thing. You know what it might've been? This might've actually been in a, um, like a, like a toy dealer. And they just kept the KB sticker and they just, I mean, part of it looks like it says $211. Part of it looks like it might just be $11. Part of it may, might be eleven eighty. I don't know. I can't tell what that is. But I leave it on there as a reminder that, you know, I know I didn't pay two eleven for this. But, you know, it could have been passed along from place to place until eventually I ended up with it. Um, again, you can see the yellowing on the card. You can see it's starting to darken. But it's still very much intact. It's still good shape otherwise it's a it's a it's a punch card this again has the um 77 i have a lot of the 77 i think those are the most common easy to get but still you know and i always by the way i think return of the jedi was the i, I want to say it was my favorite movie but i like them all for different reasons but i just was more aware of like the star wars idea of a franchise you know the star first movie came out i was six the second movie came out and i was very like in shock so excited that I was in shock over the idea that there could be another movie with all of these people involved. Yes, I'd been aware of things like Star Trek and I'd been aware of Planet of the Apes. My brother was very much a Planet of the Apes fan. So I knew that there were multiple movies with the same characters, but I wasn't really connecting that as a six-year-old or really as a nine to ten-year-old until I saw Empire Strikes Back. So when Return of the Jedi came out, I was prepped. I was ready. I was reading up on all the material. I was so set for it. So when all the figures came out and they came out slightly, some of them slightly before the movie, I was pumped. So it just has a, a greater meaning for me. So I like collecting the Return of the Jedi. I also love the logo. I don't know. I love the art, the design of the logo. It's really cool. And I'll, you know, that, and that's something I'll explain. Just watch it. It says Star Wars at the top, Return of the Jedi. Okay. Our last figure for today is Chewbacca, but on an Empire Strikes Back card. However, I want to say that the Empire Strikes Back card, I wasn't a big fan of at first. I st I don't, I, now I look, up, look back with it nostalgically, and it's fine. But to me, as a kid, as a nine-year-old, I read that as Star, the Empire Strikes Back Wars. Okay? It just bothered me. I don't know why. It just did. And, and I didn't get it. Maybe anybody else, leave, it, leave a comment if that irked anybody else. I mean, I don't mean it irked like I hated it. It's just like... I just felt like, is this, is the name of the movie Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back? Then they should put Star Wars together. Why are they putting it separately? I just didn't understand, you know, the nuances of graphic design. So, there's Chewbacca. Obviously, Chewbacca was originally re released on a Star Wars card. And I was looking to get a few Empire Strikes Back cards in my collection. So, I bought what I could find, you know, and, and, and what there was on top of it. So there he is, Chewy. Now, of course, a very, it's another irony. It's technically an unpunched card, even though the top of it is completely ripped off. And, you know, as I said, there's always a story as to why I own these figures and they're not, you know, worth, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars a piece, which to me makes them kind of fun. You know, I, I enjoy that. Uh, I like also when they have the advertisement. This is the, um, the free 4LOM and look closely. That is not. Or LOM. That is Zuckus. But uh, the very infamous mistake made by the Kenner folks is that they mixed up uh, 4LOM and Zuckus and they mixed up their action figures. And for me, to this day, I still have, I have to think before I name the correct figure names. I always, or character names, I always reverse them in my head first because that's what I grew up with. But anyway, this is what that, that free action figure. In this case, it was purchase of any five Star Wars figures, okay? So, you can see that more of an ad on the back. All right, that was a really fun thing. And but this card, I guess you could say, collect all 47. It's funny when you think about that now, collect all 47. Think about how many new, new wave figures there have come out. I think we've very easily passed a thousand at this point. 
So, um, I, you know, and, and I'm talking like, I'm not even talking about repacks. I'm talking about just individualized figures. And I'm sure we're in the 900 to 1,000 range right now. So that's just incredible to think. You know, back then it was only 47. But um, I, love the, I love the Chewy art. Miss you, Peter Mayhew. Although I do like jo Jonas, uh, yeah, Jonas, Jonas Suetomo. I think he does a great job. But, you know, there will only, there will always be the original Chewbacca. That was Peter Mayhew. And I love that pose. I love that art. That, that photo, you know, and again, again, I get it. I get the whole uh, nostalgic pack. I'm totally into it. I hope that they continue to have at least some figures released. Like, I hope they make like a really high end action figure and release them on this card because I just love this. I've collected all of the new vintage collection and I look forward to that. So, okay, so those are the four for this week. Uh, I have several more. I, I keep in mind, I do not have a complete collection. Okay, you know, obviously, I, I, I don't even have um, one of every figure in a pack. Although that is my ultimate goal to try to acquire one of every figure in in a, in, a, in some type of a vintage card, but most likely damaged, uh, and uh, you know, try to put that to, put that kind of collection together. But that's a slow move. I'll try to do that over the course of a lifetime. So we'll see what happens. Although it's gonna get harder and harder because I know they're not gonna go down in price. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the comments people made this week. Um, it's just, it was just a, uh, a flurry of new comments and that was great and, and, and seems like a couple of new subscribers. Thank you. Spread the word, like, subscribe, share the whole YouTube thing. And um, uh, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. If you do go to Instagram and Twitter though, please click the link to go to YouTube, all right? So that we can get more views there. And uh, check me out, Darth Dubas, our Moxie page on Facebook, where I upload the videos there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and may the force be with you.